Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Will. Yes, sir. And today we've got the Kalos Gym Leader, Valerie, going up against Pokemon Trainer, Silent. Yeah, this one's um pretty interesting. We got some uh, some fairies on one side, we got some grass on the other side. Uh, I can't think of a better combination. Uh, we got the Grass Monkey, a third one for the tournament. Yay, my favorite! And possibly the first one to move on to round three. I want to see it. I'm rooting for him. I want to see him make it to finals. For real. But Valerie's gimmick is a Mega Mawile, as Silent has a Sea Crystal. Mm -hmm. Not sure which Pokemon it is, but that's the whole fun of it. We get to. Alright, we got a Ferrothorn versus Gardevoir coming up here. Trace the Iron Barbs, which um, actually probably is better for, for Gardevoir in this situation than it is for Ferrothorn. Uh, Gardevoir is not really. Probably going to be making a whole lot of contact moves, but uh, Ferrothorn just might be. You're switching out to the Stoutland instead for that uh, hefty Intimidate drop on the Gardevoir, obviously. Uh, Mystical Fire, uh, intended for that Ferrothorn, probably would have just taken it out in one shot, but uh, Stoutland coming out instead, so a uh, pretty good switch in there from Silent. But gotta be seeing what this thing can actually do to a Gardevoir. Maybe it has Crunch or something like that. Trading Intimidates Iron Head instead. Hitting that Maw while not doing a too terribly much damage. But I would imagine with the. Uh, ooh, Stomping Tantrum. We're actually going to do a decent amount. Maw while setting up a Sword Stance, but uh, Sucker Punch, you're going to take out the stat room. That's one down on Silent's team. Ferrothorn coming back out. This is. Um, Pretty good answer to Mawile, I would imagine. Gardevoir coming straight back out. <laughs> Absolutely demolished by that Gyro Ball. I'm back, uh, sorry about that. Welcome back. The storm is getting crazier outside. Uh, what all did I miss? Uh, we're 5 on 5 right now. Okay. Sylveon Ooh. going for that mystical fire. Yeah, that's a repeat really of what we saw. The Gardevoir just do, which yeah, the, not a lot of Silence team is gonna be able to take these mystical fires. Probably got to deal with Sylveon as fast as possible here. Silent doesn't just want to get swept. Yeah. New Grass Monkey coming out here. Good boy. Switching out that Sylveon into Mr. Mime. As he yeah, just takes a seed bomb for three quarters of its health. I mean, even more, more like uh, a little bit more. Yeah, and uh, outspeeds of Mr. Mime as well. Just takes it out entirely without it even getting a chance to make a move. Florius being sent out here, Moonblast is going to deal over half, but that berry comes in and blows it up to three quarters. We might have talked about this before, but how is Florius not a grass type? I have no idea. I look, I will see it, and I'm like, "All oh, right, that's not a grass type." Yeah, Simi Sage probably not going to be able to do anything to this Florius anymore with that special attack drop. Uh, it's just going to be able to synthesis up uh, every bit of damage that this thing deals out. Yeah. Um. Oh. Just kidding. Oh, Seed Bomb is physical. I didn't know that. Setting up that spiky shield. Uh, Mawal going for the Sucker Punch, but it failed. Nothing happened that turn. Very, very interesting. Uh, it does mean that it's not going to be able to go for a second spiky shield, most likely. It doesn't really matter as it switches out into Ferrothorn. Again, I think you missed this, but Ferrothorn's kind of the one of the few things on this team that 
is really going to be able to threaten that Mawile with that Gyro Ball. Yes, and it does take out that Mawile with said Gyro Ball. Valerie's down to two Pokemon as Man. it just obliterates that Ferrothorn. Yeah, another fire type move out of the Squiggly Tough. Gonna be able to uh, probably put in a good amount of damage onto Silent's team. Whimsicott revealing to have the Z Crystal. Setting up the Z Tailwind for Silent's last hope here, the Superior. Going for a Swords Dance, taking that wow, flamethrower. <laughs> That's in. I did not expect it to live that, to be honest with you. Leaf Blade yeah. critting, of course. High crit chance on that move. It's now 1 to 1. Yeah, and this uh, Sylveon has Mystical Fire, we know that, so yeah, down to who moves first, and Superior takes it. Yeah, Silent takes that, uh, game number 1. Yeah, that uh, Z Tailwind was. Uh, and sacking the Whimscot. Uh, probably securing Silent the game there, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, Superior's fast already. This but, is true. I mean, I mean, there was no harm in being safe about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just really got a, a smart idea there to, to really guarantee it, I think, especially uh, since he was planning to set up the sword stance. But, uh, and moving straight into game number two... We saw, I believe, two Pokemon on Valerie's team having a like a fire type move, like uh, flamethrower. Sylveon and Gardevoir both have Mystical, and then uh, Ricky Tough has Flamethrower. So three Pokemon. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of very super effective damage on Valerie's team. It's unable to really play around it pretty well that game one, but uh, we'll have to see if he. Can do it a second time here. Yes, I'm sure Valerie's got some new tricks up her sleeve. Uh, got plans for dealing with that Ferrothorn. I would uh, tend to agree, uh, like I was saying, the Ferrothorn able to deal with Mawile fairly effectively, which not a lot of Silence team is able to do otherwise. So it was a lot of smart play that first game from Silent being able to maneuver that Ferrothor around uh, so that it was able to actually, you know, do its job pretty effectively against that Mawile. I mean, uh, I think it actually also took out the Gardevoir as well, so... Despite it having that just absolutely crippling weakness to fire, it was a pretty key player there in that first game. Once these uh, trainers are ready, we can begin game number two. I'm curious how this match or how this game will end. Uh, Simi Sage Street, obviously. Uh, oh, obviously. I want to see it make it to final eight. Uh, it's gonna win the whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna take out Cynthia. So uh, it'll be the first 12 0 game. Simi, or uh, Semis is just gonna be a bunch of monkeys. All four monkeys are making it. Well, no Crescent Hugh lost. And Bianca. The last two monkeys uh, well, will make it. We decided to uh, do uh, double elimination just for the teams that have monkeys on them. Yeah, everyone else, they're just out of luck. Sucks to suck, you should add a monkey on your team. Stoutland going for that Iron Head, taking that Gardevoir out. Now does Infernape count? I mean, Infernape is a monkey, but he is not the monkey. He's a fire monkey. He, but he's not the fire monkey, though. Uh, he was the fire monkey before. Well, he has been usurped. And now the only fire monkey that I care about is... Uh, Simisir. Damn. Friendship he's... ended with Infernape. Now Simisir is my new best friend. Anyway. Uh, uh, we're down. taking out that Stoutland. Yeah, we're, we're down yeah, five to five. Monkey. Switching into that Sylveon as Lilligant goes for that Quiver Dance. Which is a crazy move. 
all these stat boosts it gets. Just eating up that mystical fire. Yeah, I didn't, really didn't care about that at all. I mean, that special attack drop is gonna do quite a bit to it. Um, yes. Oh, really? Sylveon going for the Calm Mind, setting up uh, its own boosts. Uh, unable to take a second Petal Dance, though. Yes. And it's got one turn of Reflect left. Yeah. Um, not really super relevant against a Lilligant, but does free up some options for switching into the Ferrothorn here in a second. Trying to go for that Sucker Punch, but Lilligant going for a Teeter Dance in depth instead. That's a pretty good play against a, a Mawile, I would say. Uh, just not letting this thing get its Sucker Punches off. Predicting another Sucker Punch. A third Sucker Punch! This thing is just Can't setting up. This. A fourth Sucker Punch. This thing's going all the way. One of these days it's gonna work, though. Another teeter dance. I think Lilligan's trying to stall out all the sucker punches. Um, and I'm pretty sure that it can. I don't. Yeah, see it's it. got one more sucker. It's got, it, two more. It's got two more, and then a pedal, you know, quiver dance and teeter dance both have 32 BP. The sucker punch does take out that Lilligan. Yeah. But now Mawile has just one more left. Yes. Uh, I mean, I imagine the Mawile's probably going to be switching out. Uh, maybe into the, um, the Wigwitov. Since we've seen that thing has flamethrower. I'm going into the Mr. Mime instead. Mm -hmm. But Gyre Ball does take that out. Yeah, just uh, maybe sacking that thing there for the safe switch into the Wigwitov. Yeah. I would imagine this Ferrothorn probably does not want to stay in against this thing. Wigglytuff's not an exceptionally fast Pokemon, but Ferrothorn notoriously slow. It's got that, what, base 10 speed? Yeah, base I think, 15. Uh, looking at the stats here, it's, uh, the low, I mean, can't imagine this thing has any speed investment, so it's probably rocking the, uh, 38. But, we gotta see, I mean, Expecting here that this Wheelie Dust is probably just going to be Click and Flamethrower, which we've only got, you know, we don't have that Stalin anymore in play. So, uh, something here is getting smacked into the Flamethrower, and it's yeah. not going to like it. No, not a, n not really anything can take that Flamethrower. Better not, better not be sacking the monkeys, all I'm saying, okay? No, the monkeys got to make it to the end. Silence sacks the monkey here. We're gonna have some some problems. Yeah, that thing's got to deliver the finishing blow. Mm -hmm. It's a non-negotiable. It is in his contract. What? The Going fuck? into the semi sage. Oh, there it is. All right. So I. Oh, no longer yeah. rooting for silence. No, I, I'm I, uh, I I'm quitting entirely. I don't want to do this anymore. Simi Sage is dead. It just just uh, there's no point. I think everything's dying. Uh, everything oh. is dying. Superior, we're getting a kind of a repeat of the end of last game with the tailwind up and Superior going for that sword stance. Two in a row. Moonblast dealing less than half to it. Special attack drop not going to really do much to the Superior. We got uh, just a Mawile and that Wigglytuff left, but uh, those are two pretty hard hitters there. Paralysis on the Mawile, we're down to just Ferrothorn and Wigglytuff. I don't know if Ferrothorn can pull this out. That Wigglytuff is just going to come in and, uh, I mean, it's not even going to be able to kill this Mawile, it looks like. Maybe I mean, it's it got... Might die to... Eh, maybe it will. I think you can battle us as well, but uh, it's maybe not it's got like to the bright powder. Uh, I've seen it before. Mm, 
Well, no, I mean, got... Ferrothorn's Ferrothorn's got lefties, so. Uh, I didn't see that. Wow. Uh, Valerie takes game number two. Once again, it came down to a one v one. Uh, our first game three, and I don't know how long. Well, you know how it goes. We have, you know, twenty, you know, two game sets, and then, you know, twenty game threes. We all they're all in a row. Yeah. Certainly, the next two will be uh, in going to match three. We are back on the field for game number three. Uh, did we see anything else with that? I don't really think that we did, to be honest. We saw the Lilligant going for uh, Quiver Dance. Yes, we did see the Lilligant coming through with a you know some power plays there, and it is pretty good to. Uh, Stall out Mega Mawile's Sucker Punch. Yeah, watching that Lilligant performance and everything. Do we have an Oricoco in this in this tournament? An Oricor... An or, Oricorio? I think sure, so. Sure, that one. The bird. There's a lot of birds. Let me see. We've got one the Oricorio. Uh, Kahili. Uh-huh, yes. Yeah, sure. I, I felt like I remembered one. That is such a such an interesting book. I mean, just the whole like uh, spamming dances on that thing. I find it so funny. It's so amusing. And we're back again for game number four. Our first game four of the set. Very exciting. Uh, once these trainers are ready, we can begin game four. Or probably first and only game four until maybe the finals. How exciting. Silent leading off with that superior as Valerie leads off with Mr. Mime. Which is a Mrs. Mime. Yeah. Do better, Pokemon. Right? They didn't even fix it with Mr. Rhyme. Uh, Superior setting up another sword stance. We played even through that protect, doing over half to really tough. Flamethrower does a lot. Oh, goodness, yeah. That crit, they are gonna just ignore that reflect entirely. Just demolish the Mawile. Yeah. Valerie not able to get that Mega Mawile in. It uh, might hinder her team a lot. Yes, oh, just barely living that Leaf Blade uh, with the Gardevoir is. I don't know why I said that, like, Yoda. I mean, this woman's got just to do my impression, yeah. yeah. Who's got all four games just as one purpose, it's to set up that Z tailwind and that, that is it. Yeah. It doesn't have any attack moves. It just only has Z tailwind. I mean it's it's got a job, I suppose. You're down four on four right now. Mr. Mime coming back out here again. Ironhead with the crit does one shot that miss misses mine. Yeah, that uh, this Statlin's kind of posing a problem right now. I mean, it's the Tailwind is is going down here real quick. So I don't know. At, like after this turn, maybe not going to be able to do too much more. But at the moment, yeah, Moonblast only doing less than half. So. Gonna get another iron head off on this Florgus and uh, just be able to take it out, I think. Stoutland's still outspeeding, and another iron head does take out Florgus. Sylveon out here. Uh, let's see what this thing can do. It does take the iron head. Who does flinch, though? 
unfortunate for Sylveon. A 10% chance. There's a 20. It's some low number. Yeah, this, uh... Uh, well, I mean, it would be if we didn't change it. You're right, it's 100%. Uh, of course. And just like that, Stoutland, the perfect grass type, takes game number four, which means that Silent wins match number 48. And he will be going on it. Round three. Uh, join us tomorrow where we will be seeing the Kanto gym leader Misty going up against the trial captain Sophocles. Thank you so much for the watching. The monkey survives another round. Okay. The monkey makes it on to round three. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, take care. Peace.